let's start with the rhythm again. Like the last video, get the rhythm done. So I would take this as soon as you need to, learn it one bar at a time. Just practice tapping and counting the rhythm before you actually start applying the chords if need be. So here we go. I just did two practice runs. Let's see if those are going to carry over into this video. Pressure's on for me. A one, two, three, four, E, two, and the E, and four, E, and E, two, three, and, and one, E, and the E, and two, E, and the E, and the one, and the E, and, and the four, a E, a two, and the E, and four, E, and E, two, three, and, and one, E, and the E, and three, E, and the E, and the one, and the E, and, and the four, a boom. I guess it did help. All right. Uh, moving on to the bend. So let's see. Play these uh, once slowly without a backing track first, and then I'll go ahead and uh, kind of do what I did last time. I'll play each riff four times to that backing track. So riff number one. Actually, the two riffs on the top of the page. Check out the last video I sent you to see those things again. Save some time and video space here. Alright, so jumping down to the riff that's after the rhythm, we've got... Remember to use your index finger to mute the higher sounding strings. So like when you're on that 7th fret of the D string, which is an A note. So when you're on that A note there to finish off that riff, make sure that your index finger is barely touching the G, B, and E string so they don't ring out. Alright, the next riff. This is where you're holding the highest note with your pinky and you're bending the, the G string in this case with three fingers and here we go Just be mindful if the bend is a full step or a half step. So the next one, also going to have your pinky holding the highest sounding note. And then you're bending with three fingers again. So this one, a bit more complicated on the bend directions. You've got the 8th fret, you hit first on the B string. Wait a beat until you then you bend it up, so don't pick a bend right away. Pick, then bend. Then you got the pick the E string, pick the B string while the bend is still up. Then release the bend. Keep pressure on the string in order to have the note continue to ring out. And then you got the rest of the riff. string at the end there instead of two. So that last bar you have the pick the eight, then the bend, pick the E string, cut off both of those notes, and then jump up here to the 15s, pick them both, bend that B string up and release right away, and then boom, boom. So let's play that riff one more time. Try 
try these with some music. Uh, I did close it. Hold on. Okay, one second. Alright, that's up now. Volume check. So four times each riff, so the three bend riffs after the rhythm. Here we go. Faster now. Like I actually picked one note when I was supposed to pull off. One more time. There we go. Alright, next riff. There we go. any questions and plan on seeing you Thursday at 6 o'clock.